is the magic man once again i'm still on the court the light stayed on i thought they was gonna go off when i did the other video let me see if i can bust another video very quickly so federer he ain't tripping nadal fans tripping federer fans tripping other tennis fans tripping but federer ain't tripping i'm telling you Okay, people, I told y'all I wasn't going to make any more videos before the Australian Open starts here. But uh, I, I, this was too tempting here. Now, this is this is really very important for... Uh, it's relevant to the Australian Open. It's relevant for the next five years. It's relevant to the GOAT debate. And it's relevant... Not, not just relevant for the next five years. It's relevant for the... For the for the tennis future, for te it's relevant. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. This what I'm getting ready to go over is relevant to the tennis history, because we talk about Rod Laver versus Federer and all that stuff. And I told y'all I will. I'm not really clear who's the greatest between those two guys. It's relevant to the present, uh, present tennis, uh, state. Uh, the goat debate between the Dow and Federer. And uh, it's relevant for the future GOAT debates. Okay, people, uh, Federer was in a, 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 pr a news conference here, press news conference. And Federer said something now. The news guy didn't get what he said, but I knew exactly what he was talking about. But he did explain it, and he was being very humorous about it. Uh, Federer said that he should not be the favorite uh, he should not be the favorite for the Australian Open. And everybody in the room was like, what? What is he talking about? Is he trying to joke? Or what does he say? Is he just making a joke? People didn't know how to take it. And Federer sort of, he got halfway serious. You know, he was still sort of being funny. He was saying a guy who's 36 should be the favorite, in tennis especially. I mean, tennis is a young man's game. And, and I, I know exactly what Federer is saying. It shouldn't be that way. It, a guy who's 36 years old. Now, listen, how many people are in the uh, the draw? Is it almost, what is it, like 120, 125, or uh, about, it's around about 124, however many, in the, the whole draw? I know it's going to be, it's going to quickly reduce after the second round uh, on Monday, Tuesday. But I think it's like 120 to 30 people in the whole draw or something like that. So, how in the world is the oldest guy the favorite? And probably the favorite for the Wimbledon, and probably the favorite for the uh, the U.S. Open. Now, y'all remember that scenario I told y'all? I'm gonna get back to this whole what Federer was talking about, but this is rel relevant what, relevant what I'm getting ready to say. You remember I told y'all, you all, that if I came from another planet, and let's say somebody tried to tell me that Federer is not arguably, I put arguably, cause I mean that, like I said, there's a debate between who's greater between him and uh and and Rod Laver, but arguably the greatest of all time. And I don't care if it's if the Dow fans try to tell me he's not the greatest, I'm gonna say you guys are lying. And you know why? Let me tell you why. I don't need to even look at majors. I don't need to look at stats. This 36-year-old man is the favorite for the Australian Open. And there's 130 young, 120 some guys younger than he is. And the Djokovic just beat team straight sets since won the first set. And they still didn't put the Djokovic the favorite. And I don't care if he was hurt. Even a hurt young guy. guy uh, the Djokovic being... Coming off injury and Wawrinka, they should still. I'm saying under normal circumstances, people, a, a, a younger guy who's coming off an injury should still be favored over an old 36 year old guy. But why is that not? Why? Why? Why aren't they? I'm gonna tell you why. Cause he's arguably the goat. Only the goat can do that. That's if I came from another planet. If 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 uh. If me and my alien friends came from another planet, my extraterrestrial friends, we're going to say, oh, you guys are lying. I don't think Federer is arguably the GOAT. Because only the GOAT could do that. A, a regular guy couldn't be 36 and be the favorite in almost all the majors and even be number two favorite in the French Open under Nadal. How in the hell could that be? Now, let me get back to the, uh, the title of the video. 
What Federer has done, people, check this out. Now, I'm already there. Because I know y'all have seen me make a lot of videos on Federer. I know the Dow fans are sick of it. He always making these greatness videos on Federer. Listen, people. See, what people don't understand about me, people, and there are some tennis experts, they already there, too. Federer has created a new category for for the GOAT. You know how you have categories like who got the most majors? Okay, and obviously that's the main thing they look at. Who got the most majors? Who's been in the most finals? Who's been in the most semifinals? They look at everything head to heads. Uh, how you play the field head to head, not just head to head, like uh, Federer versus Nadal. Uh, they look at the most master series tournaments you want, everything. There's so many other categories too. Y'all, here's a new category here. Now, let me just say something, y'all. Rod Laver, after the age of 30 years old, Rod Laver won the Grand Slam people at the age of 30. Wow. He won all four in one year. I told y'all that Rod Laver is great. But y'all, check this out, though. After the age of 30, Rod Laver retired like at 38 years old. But between 30, between that 31 and 36 Rod Laver, he couldn't win another major. Now, he did win like five and six Master Series tournaments a year, meaning which is really great. That means Rod Laver, he, he was still winning like the Master uh, Indian Wales. Uh, I mean, something on that level. Shanghai, uh, Miami, uh, Barcelona. He could still win those, but he couldn't win any majors. So, people, now, I'm still not clear who's greater between Rod Laver and Federer, but let me say something. This is really helping Federer make it a little clearer. Clear. Federer has created a new category, people, and this going to make it really harder for Nadal to beat him now. Here it is. Federer has created the 36-year-old category. Let me tell y'all what that means. Ten Tennis Prophet was their way last year, people. He's saying, can you win majors at the age of 36? I don't care how many majors you can win at the age of 30. I don't care how many majors you can win at 24. Unless a younger guy can win 40 majors, what Federer has created now. See, people, even if Nadal, if Nadal tied Federer, Say this year, 19 majors to 19. I'm still taking Federer. He's 36. He can say, listen, the tennis experts are going to piss the Dow fans off because the tennis experts are going to be like me. We're going to say, okay, okay, it's tied, but this guy's 36. So you got to go with the 36-year-old guy. You got to give him more leeway. You got to give him more credit. That's in any sport. Now, what Federer has created now, he's created a new standard. So now what you're going to have now, you're going to have a guy may come, another Federer may come, and he may get 20, no, another Federer may come, and at the age of 27, let's say a new Federer comes in like, let's say Kyrgios, I'm going to make up something, let's say Kyrgios wins, ends up winning 18 majors, and he's only 27, and so everybody can be like, oh, wow, Kyrgios Federer didn't even have 18 majors at 27. But now, what, but see, now the standard has changed. Kyrgios, can you play to the age of 36 and get like 25? Or can you even be winning majors uh, after the age of 31? Well, Federer has made us new standard. Can you win majors at the age of 36? Nadal, can you win majors at the age of 36? The Djokovic, can you win majors at the age of 36? Okay? And Federer, listen, he, he's already done it. He's, he's going to be 37 in a couple months or so. He doesn't even need to win this straight. He's already changed the standard because he did it last year when he was 36. So it ain't like he needs to win the Australian Open to raise the standard, the 36-year-old standard. So y'all see what I'm just saying? Now, all the new players that say, they, all the new guys that want to be the GOAT now, not only must they win 19 majors, they got, can they do it at the age of 36? Now, their fans may say, they like, say if a new guy come, 10 years from now, win 19 majors. And they say Federer only has 19. Stay at 19. Can you do it at the age of 36? Can you do it at... Did the guy win the 19 by 30, and then after 30, he couldn't win anymore? So the standard has been... Federer has raised the longevity greatness standard. Can you do it... Can you do it at the age of 36? And let he may even and can you do it at the age of 37? Listen, this video, I'm gonna have to change this video next year. If Federer win some majors uh 
this year, then can you do it at the age of 37? Suppose Federer win majors next year. Can you do it at the age of 38? Suppose he win majors the next year. Can you do it at the age of 39? Y'all see what I'm saying? Do y'all understand this GOAT debate? Man, listen, man. There's a lot of people that take this GOAT debate for granted. It ain't even just about... It is about majors. That is a major thing. But it's can you can you win the how long can you win majors? And so uh this uh, you know who this help fit this helps this helped make it a little clear about who's greater between Federer and Rod Laver. If Federer can do what I just said the next couple of years, continue to win majors. Um after that. Age of 36, 37, 38. Boom, bam. Okay, people, a new level, a new stand-up for greatness, for the GOAT. Not just greatness, for the GOAT. So when I start hearing people saying, uh, Nadal's the GOAT, uh, this is the GOAT, Hey, man, y'all see, I just gave y'all the standard. Can they beat that standard? The 36-year-old standard. Tennis preacher, tennis prophet, tennis, tennis psychic. Signing off. Have a good one. Magic man, tennis pastor, preacher, psychic, y'all know the way we do it.